What's up guys, this is Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'm gonna show you how I customized all my tiles, my Windows 8 tiles. As you can see, um, a lot of these are custom. So it's not with an app from the Microsoft App Store, but it's done with Oblitile software. I'll put a link to in the description. And as you can see, it makes some pretty awesome tiles like for example my Plex media tile is completely different if I resize it to large it'll look like this if I resize it to medium it'll look like this and if I resize it to wide it'll look like this same with my Spotify icon there you go and there you go so yeah that's really cool I think it makes working with Windows 8's new um, start menu much much nicer and it it just makes organizing everything so much cooler so let's get right to it and open obli tile well first of all let me just go to the website and show you where you can install it so we'll just type in obli tile in google and it's from xda so Kudos for that. Thanks for the awesome application. Maybe there's even a newer version, but you just go to this site, you download it from wherever you want to download it from. Let's say Dropbox, download. It's that easy. You open up the program and normally you should know how to install something. There you go. Run. Oh, and that's it. So it's, you don't even have to install it. It's that easy. Okay, so um, before you, you have this little interface and you won't have these names in here because those are all the custom tiles I've already made. And it's pretty self-explanatory. So the title, the tile name, uh, let's say we want to have a tile for Google. I don't know why we would have a tile for Google, but let's let's just that's my top of mind. Google, write in the name, and as you can see, immediately you have um, in each preview tile the name Google appearing. Now, if you don't want the name to appear in your tile, you just press hide name, and it's gone. It's that easy. But it's always good to name your tiles because if you ever want to edit them, it'll appear in this list. And then you just type in, you just press, let's say, Action Mirillis, and there you go. You can edit the entire tile and the images you've given to it. So let's just make a new one. Just press the plus, call it Google again, hide name. Now, the program path can be anything. It can be a file, it can be a folder, it can even be a link to a website. So here the menu says it all. And let's say we want to have a, um, you know what, let's, yeah, let's, let's do a bodybuilding link because I like to have my link to bodybuilding.com because it spares, it saves me on time. As you can see, I've ha I have two, two over here, 12 week daily trainer and live fit for my girlfriend because she follows the Jamie Eason plan. Now, I don't want to always go to bodybuilding.com, etc., 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 and do a find a plan and go to my Chris Get in 12 weeks, or let's say shortcut to size, because I don't have that one yet. As you can see, here you have the shortcut to size. What I mainly do is just I save the image to, let's say, desktop for now. There you go. Now I have this image, and what I want what I want to do is to have a shortcut to this website, but with a nice um, tile, so I don't really have to look to a boring Windows 8 tile that just uh, doesn't cut it. For me, it doesn't cut it. I prefer to have a nice and clean looking tile like this, and it's really easy to do with Obli Tile. So let's get back to the application well, the software, and let's call it shortcut to size. 
program path. The only thing I have to do now is just copy paste and paste the, the link to the website. And then you have your tile square image. Now, whether it, it's this one, this one is your standard tile. So you can add an image in this one and it will add them to all of the, all of the possible tiles available. Now you can go specific and tell him like if I have a small tile, so it's these two, just oh no this one, um, and it will appoint a special one for this one. Like um, if you want to have a different image for every tile, as I have for four 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 my media server, as you can see, I have a medium one and I have. Um, a wide one and I have a big one all different so that's what this does as you can see my tile square image is standard is this one here and this one and this one but I have a, um, a different one for my wide image and for my small image so small is this one I think I'm not sure you can find you you'll figure it out so if I go back to um, my new one and my shortcut to size there you go copy paste and I'm just gonna keep it simple um, and I add a tile square image is really easy I go to my desktop because that's where I saved it enter and as you can see it generates a tile for me immediately now this isn't the nicest one but that's just playing around um, you can edit it in paint or Photoshop I don't know what, what program you like to use and that's what I did in each case so it will look a little nicer you have the option also to change the background color so now here it suggests a color but you can also easily move, um, change that color by just going to tile color and let's say you want a black background apply and boom you have a black background now this doesn't look great but I'm just showing you guys how it's done. Um, so that's the main. That's uh, mainly the most important part. The text. If you want to have the text in a different color, you just go here to text and you choose an, another color. Let's say green because reminds me of the Hulk, and that's where I'm trying to get to. No, not really, but it does remind me. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's ah, that's how easy it is. You have some other tile settings that you can. Um, click like for example if you have to run something as an administrator all the time you can easily just click this one or back to start so this will just return you to start after you've opened the program if you have to open something else as well single instance and hide program all other options that might be helpful for you I don't really use them I just keep it simple because if you have a lot of tiles that you want to make yeah you're not gonna like go too specific so you just press create tile and there you go it immediately tells you you've added a new tile and it'll be added to the back of your start and I can put it in my fitness fitness uh, folder as you can see this looks nicer than for example I don't have a standard internet tile here right now, but most of the time they look like this, like like this. And I, I just let's make that medium. There you go. That's oh, that was uh, unintentional, but it it doesn't look nice. If if I were to care about this little tile here, but I don't really, I would change it as well. But I won't because I really I really don't care how this one looks. But my fitness, since I use it so often, I do care how those look. As you can see, if I resize it and I put it to large, it will look different. It will look way cooler than it should look if you use the standard Windows application. And that's about it. That's about it, guys. It's really that easy. It's really that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this. Uh, I, I tried to keep this short, but it didn't work out for some reason. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.